Asians are one of the fastest growing immigrant groups in America. 12 million already live here, and many believe that it's a positive sign for the economy. Mark New has more from Silicon Valley. Tianjin China native Maggie Liu became a U.S. citizen in December 2012. A copywriter and a film student, Maggie, like many immigrants, came to California with big dreams. This is a new country for new immigrants. They can dream whatever. The foreign-born population in the United States is growing at a steady rate, and among the largest groups on the upswing are Asian immigrants, who now make up just over 29% of the total foreign-born population. They're growing at a faster rate than Latin American newcomers, whose overall percentage is slightly on the decline. The major thing that drives immigration to the United States is really the state of the American economy. As the economy has slightly improved, I think some of that immigration has picked back up. Particularly from Asian countries, some of that immigration has picked up because we've seen uh, a lot of success, particularly here in Silicon Valley, uh, with startup companies. Xu Yang Li became a U.S. citizen several years ago. He's the founder of Trusco, a Silicon Valley mobile security company that recently had a $36 million exit and was acquired by Chinese internet company Baidu. Li says nowadays, increasing wealth in China has meant many Chinese families are able to send their children to the U.S. at younger ages without any financial assistance. He also says high-tech companies like Google and Microsoft are going into China and touting U.S. citizenship as a hiring benefit. They use immigrant as one of the reasons when they try to convince those students why come to work for the company in the United States. U.S. is still one of the best countries that many young people wanted to work. I think there's a bigger question about whether in fact what we're seeing is a sustained growth in the Asian population and therefore the possibility that the Asian population could play a larger and larger role in American politics. Chen says measures to expand the number of high-tech and skilled worker visas would further increase immigration to the U.S., particularly from China and India. But for now, he says that immigration reform proposal remains stalled in the U.S. House of Representatives and is unlikely to be taken up anytime soon. Mark New, CCTV, Mountain View, California.